this guy covers in great detail every single one of Fall Phoenix's moves. How to punish them and how to avoid them, what you can do, what sidesteps you can take, how to break throws, the whole work. So let's get on with it. Oh, and whilst you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, the first move we're going to have a look at is Paul's Rage Art. This can be punished for a full combo. Whatever combo you like, I'll go on for that one. Move number two is this Rage Drive. If you're like far around about here, you can sidewalk it in either direction. But if you're close by, like around here, there's nothing you can do about it. It's safe, leave it well alone. Move number three is safe, leave it alone. If you're pull main, mash this out as much as you can. Move number four can be low parried after the first hit. And followed up with a combo. Move number five can be ducked after the first hit and followed up by a twin pistons combo of your liking. Move number six can be low parried after the first hit. Move number seven can be ducked after the first hit and followed up with twin piston combo. Move number 8 is a 12 frame punishment or up to 12 frames so you can do 1-1-2, one, 2-2 one, two, 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 or back 1-2. Move number 9 leaves you in a crouching position, leave it alone, it's safe. Move number 10 can be punished with anything up to 14 frames. Move number 11 can be punished with anything up to 14 frames, I'm going to go with 2-2. Two, two. Move number 12 is safe if you finish the string. You can interrupt it after the first hit with a down jab, but that's all you're getting from it. Move number 13 is safe, leave it alone. Move number 14 is a 1-1-2 one, one, punishment. The boot is safe, leave it alone. Hammer punch is safe, leave it alone. Move number 17 can be sidestepped in either direction after the first hit. And followed up with a combo. Lock the low and punish with whilst rising too. Move number 19 is dependent on your position. If you rift it, you can punish it with full combo. If you're close enough, you can block the low and punish it with whilst rising two. That's a whilst rising two. And that's any punishment. Demolition man, this deserves a video of its own. There's a lot of things you can do. Number one, you can block the low and punish it with whilst rising two. Number two, you can, if you've got a lot of distance, so you're about here, you can sidestep in either direction. Number three, you can do Magic 4 just before the final hit. Or you can do Twin Pistons just before the final hit. But putting this into action is quite difficult. So it should look something like this. Move 21, if you're really fast, you can punish it with electrics. Like that. Move number 22, because of the pushback, it's safe, leave it alone. Tuck the second higher, punish with Wild Frozen 2. Move number 24 temporarily stuns you, so there's not much you can do, so 
wait for it to finish and punish him with two two. Move to turn to five is safe, leave it alone. Move 26 is whilst rising for 4 or low parry. Low parry. Whilst rising for 4. Duck. Whilst rising 2. Combo. Wrecking ball is safe. Leave it alone. Side set left and punish. Move number 30 is back 1 2. Move number 31 can be sidestepped in either direction after the first hit. And follow up with a combo. Wild Swipe and 2 punishment. Move number 33 you have to low parry after the first hit. Duck the final hit and Wild Swords in two. Like his previous move, but it's a mid. You should use Magic Fall after the first two hits. And then combo. Move 36 is a seeable low. Duck it and Wild Swords in two. Side step right and punish. Whilst rising to punishment. Pay electric bills on this move if you seem trying to attempt it. Whilst rising to again. Move number 41. If you've got some distance, you can side step left. Not like that. Something like that. Twin piston combo. Man to man side step left. 44, there's nothing you can do, leave it alone. There's not much you can do about move 45, leave this alone. Move number 46, there's not much you can do about it, so leave it alone. And if you're poor at main, abuse it as much as you can. Low parry. This move is used a lot online. You have to block the low, block the mid, and duck the high. And punish with wall frozen too. Twin piston combo. Twin piston combo again. Back one two. Back one two. Walls rising two. Low parry or walls rising four four. When you see the sparks. Down forward two. Duck, walls rising two. No parry. Okay, throw break number one. This can be broken by pressing one. Or two. That's two. That's one. Throw break number two. This can be broken by pressing either one or two. That's one. That's two. Throw break number three can be broken by pressing either one or two. That's two. That's one. Throw break number four is the same as the other lot. Either one or two. That's two. That's one. These moves here, so move number 66, 67, 68, 69, 
they're the same either one or two brakes. Move number 70 is a two brake. You have to press two, like that. Move number 71 is a one plus two brake, like that. Move number 72 is a one brake, like that. And if you don't brake it, this is what happens. Whooped. Move number 73 is a one brake, like that. And if you don't brake it, you're going flying. Move 74 is a one plus two brake, like that. And if you don't brake it, you're going miles away when you're standing. But if you've missed that and you're almost going to the floor, press one plus two and it should reverse, but it's timing has to be immaculate. So that's two. And reversal. Move number 76 is a one break. Move number 77 is a one break on the floor. Move number 78 is a one break when you hit the floor. Move 79 is 1 plus 2 break when you hit the deck. Or if not, this is what's going to happen. Your arm breaks. Move number 80 is his reversal. I'm not quite sure how to defeat this. But I think some sort of um, chickening procedure is involved. You'll have to check on YouTube somewhere and find a video regarding that. That's it for this guide, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's a character you want a guide on let me know.